would you say it's probably best for most average lay lay folk to to ignore kind of what comes out of whatever dicastery at the Vatican or statement being made that might be confusing? Is that a, a tactic or a strategy that might help us to live more in a state of joy and grace? To be honest, that's what I do. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 I'm focusing on faith and morals. I, I'm focusing on. Um, you know, those things that keep me focused and grounded on our way to heaven, right? We're on pilgrimage here. Yeah. This is not our home. You know, so so what I'm doing when I'm going out and speaking, and even for myself, preaching my own prayer life and spiritual life, you know, I'm going back, for example, I, I think what we need now, Joe, is a Eucharistic Renaissance. I think we need a complete Eucharistic Renaissance. We need to get back to Eucharistic adoration regularly. We need to get back to Eucharistic processions. We need 